as I'm sure you appreciate. An incredible amount of planning and preparation has gone into getting the classrooms, areas across the school ready for a safe return for students and for staff in September. Alongside this, we have given careful thought to what learning should look like. Students have not been in formal education or in classrooms for five months, and we know a certain amount of reacclimatisation and adjustment has got to happen to support students to get back into learning. Therefore, we've made the following changes to our curriculum for the first term. Firstly, each year group will receive a one hour timetabled wellbeing session each week. This will enable students to talk about their experiences, their feelings, their emotions with their peers and with a member of staff on a regular basis. Secondly, we are also having a high focus on literacy and on negotiables through that first term to ensure that our expectations of reading and extended writing are gradually being met through the course of the first term. For our year seven students, we are also introducing a literacy programme for all students that they will regularly engage with on a weekly basis within their English lessons. In Key Stage 3, Year 7, Year 8 and Year 9, no homework will be set in the first term. We want to focus on the process of learning in the classroom and getting students used to understanding what skills they need to develop in a classroom to further enhance their learning. For Year 10 students, we also believe that is really important and we will not be setting homework in the first term for Year 10 students either. For our Year 11 students, where time is of a concern, we will continue to set homework for our Year 11 students, though this will be consolidation homework and reviewing previous learning that should and did take place during lockdown. Also, for our Key Stage 3 students and for Year 10 students, we will not be engaging with any high stakes testing throughout the first term either. I also want to talk about our preparations in the event of a second spike of COVID and that results in the school having to partially or fully close again. I want to thank all of those students and parents who absolutely engaged with our fortnightly learning packs, which got better and better, I think, throughout lockdown. Students showed a great amount of resilience and independence whilst completing those activities in the, in the learning packs. However, I know that there were complexities, I know that there were difficulties and problems with those learning packs, not only for students, but for parents and indeed for teachers and heads of subjects as well. Therefore, we are making very firm plans to ensure that the learning packs do not, are not used in the event of another, of another lockdown. We will be providing training for all staff and indeed students on Microsoft Teams to ensure that we are able to set work remotely in the case of a lockdown again. Microsoft Teams, as I'm sure you know, is a safe, reliable platform that we know meets all our safeguarding requirements for students and staff to use safely. So therefore, at this very start of term, all our teachers will be receiving Microsoft Teams training so that they are able to use it safely and able to also use it confidently. And similarly, all students will receive training on Teams as well, showing how to access and how to use the software so that when we do, or if we do uh, have to close, work will be set through Microsoft Teams and will allow us to, be, to deliver live lessons, the different varieties of live, live lessons safely to all students in the event of another lockdown. For now, I'd like all students and staff and their families to enjoy what is left of the summer holidays. I hope that these videos reassure you that we are taking the safety and well-being of all our students and staff at Sir William Romney's incredibly seriously. I look forward to welcoming all the staff and students back in September. If, however, you do have any queries about these videos or the risk assessment that is online, please do not hesitate to contact main reception or contact our admin email address and I will do my very best to answer those queries as soon as possible.